Good morning, it's Thailand Trixie, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Uh, we are starting our Good Vibes Thailand Yoga for All class, all right? So we're gonna get started here. My name is Thailand Trixie, and it's gonna be fun. So if you're only here for, you can do 10 minutes with me, or the full hour, great. We're gonna have this live and recorded. So you can come back to it at any time on our Instagram channel, good.vibesthailand. Okay, so let's get started. Get your yoga mat or your towel. You don't need, you know, just keep it super simple. You don't even need to have uh, no yoga, okay? It's a very simple class. Do what you can do, and uh, we're gonna have some fun, okay? So I'm gonna turn the comments off, and so that way you can see my full postures. So um, welcome everybody. Hello there, I see a couple people here. Hello there. Okay, um, I'm turning the comments off here. Okay, all right. Hello, Mary Lou. My friend Lulu back in Folsom. Nice to see you on there. Okay, so now comments are off. We're gonna start the class and let's get started, okay? Um, if you have any injuries, mod uh, we can do modifications. Use a pillow like this or, you know, a block. Um, I'll show you, like I've got these yoga blocks here. Um, you can use something very simple like this from home. Okay, you don't need anything fancy. If you have knee injuries, um, hip injuries, whatever. So I'll show along the way during the class um, some different things you can do so you um, can do the pose, okay, or the exercise. All right, let's get going. All right. So we're gonna start first by standing up. So everybody make sure you find a little spot here for yourself in your home. Okay, so make sure you just have enough space, enough circumference to just move your arms, okay? You don't need a lot of space, okay? Um, and we're gonna start with a hand, uh, feet together, heels and toes touch. This is called pranayama breathing. It's good for the respiratory, good for the lungs. So put your feet together, heels and toes touch, and just relax, have fun with me, okay? It's just yoga, it's breathing, meditation, stretching, and some exercises I throw in there along the way to tone, okay? Let's do this. Okay, feet together, heels and toes. Touch, stand up nice and tall. Okay, concentrate on yourself. Meditate and concentrate on your breathing. Let your busyness leave the mat or your towel. Let yourself focus on this time for yourself so you can really get the most out of this class, okay? So interlock your fingers just like this. Cross your thumbs and it's gonna be a nice tight grip underneath your uh, throat, or underneath your chin, excuse me. So your thumbs are touching your throat like this, okay? We'll do lots of these so you'll get used to it if you're not at first, okay? So feet together, heels and toes touch. Sit up, stand up nice and tall, butt nice and high, tight, your legs locked, and your hands are interlocked underneath you just like this, okay? Keep them there the whole time, okay? So chest out, belly in, and we're gonna start by inhaling through the nose. Inhale through the nose, and you're nice and tall here. You're eight feet tall. Long, tall spine here. Elbows come up. Keep your fingers underneath your chin here, interlocked. And now you're gonna push your head back, push your chin back, all the way back, and bring your elbows in front of you and touch. Okay, just like this. Okay, so inhale, breathe through the nose very slowly. It's a very slow, very methodical, very just, Conscious breathing, inhaling through the nose, and now you're gonna exhale out your mouth. Push your chin back. <sighs> exhale out the mouth, bring your elbows together in front of you, and touch, okay? Inhale, breathe slowly. Inhale through the nose, very slowly. Start looking forward, bring your elbows, they're, they're at your shoulder width, so make sure your sh shoulders, I mean your elbows are nice and high at your shoulders here. Okay, now exhale, push your head back. Push your chin back from the side, it looks like this. Push your chin back, bring your elbows together, butt tight, elbows touch. Inhale, breathe slowly. Inhale, breathe through the nose. Keep your belly tight, butt tight, legs locked, and then push your head back. Exhaling out the mouth, look back, elbows come together in front and touch. Inhale, breathe slowly, we'll do a few more. You're doing great, I know you are. Elbows up, and then exhale. Keep those elbows nice and high at your shoulders the whole time. 
Elbows come together in front of you and touch. Two more. Inhale, breathe. Slow inhale through the nose. Big lungs, big rib cage. Exhale. Let it all go. Let it all go. Keep the belly tight as you exhale as well. Elbows touch. Inhale, breathe. Start looking forward. Start looking forward. Elbows up nice and high, nice and high. And then exhale, push your head back. Let's do a couple more. Let's do two more. And elbows touch. Okay, inhale, breathe. Start looking forward. Elbows coming up nice and high. Belly tight. Belly nice and tight. Butt tight. Legs tight. Exhale. Inhale, breathe. Last one. Big inhale. Open up the lungs. Expand the rib cage. Fresh oxygen. Elbows up. Exhale. And change. All right. That wasn't too bad, right? Okay, that was a great beginning. That's pranayama breathing. And let's start now by warming up the body from head to toe, okay? So we'll start with a... Uh, Warming up the shoulders, nice, slow warm up. So you can bring your feet out a little bit, okay? Just get nice and comfortable. Make sure your body stays flexed. So roll those shoulders back, even maybe bring your elbows out a little bit. Just feel your body warming up and getting a little blood flowing. So even if you're getting at the end of your day, um, this is great, you're just kind of stretching everything out. Maybe you were sitting on the computer like most people are these days, or on the phone a lot, or driving a lot. Great way to end your day, too, as well as beginning. Okay, let's go the other direction, really slow. Feel each body part, feel the muscles, the fibers, the tissues, everything moving in your body. Okay, breathe through your nose now, the rest of class, unless I direct you otherwise. Breathe through your nose, that keeps, oh, I think I used the wrong word. So when you use your mouth to, when you're breathing, Okay, like that, you're expelling more energy, not extrapolating, I said extrapolate last week. Expelling, so you're expelling more oxygen than you need to. When you breathe through your nose, you're, you're not expelling all the extra oxygen. Okay, so you're keeping your heart rate at a good rate, a slower rate. You're keeping your body, your mind slower and calmer. So breathe through your nose. Okay, a couple more rolls. Slow it down. Nice big slow rolls now. Slow everything down. Okay, back slow, really slow. Keep that chest out, belly tight. Keep the legs locked. All right, good, all right. Now, get yourself centered, okay? Find that base here, okay? Feet nice and flat, straight, legs locked, butt tight, belly tight, chest out. Okay, you're simply going to move your head, roll your head from right to left, left to right, slowly. Bring your chin down to your chest. Touch your chest with your chin. So it's a very methodical, very thoughtful stretching here. Bring your head all the way down and slowly roll from right to left. This should feel really good. I mean, I'm on my phone a lot with social media. With them. I don't want to be, but I mean... I love it with the, it works great for business and it's great to get viewers and everything. Um, so you almost have to be these days, you know, no matter what you do. That's the way it goes. So go ahead and get that neck worked out so you can get on that phone or drive. Nice slow rolls right to left. Chin forward on your chest. One more. Come center, okay? Now drop your head over to your left, okay? Bring your left hand under your head, chin up, belly tight, chest up. Get your back nice and straight, butt tight. Lock everything, flex. And now move the head over to the left. Keep your chin up, it's not down. It's back up like this, okay? Now bring your right arm down so it looks like this, okay? Glue your fingers together and bring it to the side and back. So now you feel that nice stretch all the way up, all the way to your right fingertips, to the side, to your left side. That big muscle here, your sternocleidomastoid muscle, big neck muscle here. 
work that out, stretch it out, keep it gentle. And just see if you can maybe bring it over a little bit more. Keep that chin up, don't let it drop, chin up. That also keeps your back straight. Glue all five fingers here. Keep it back here. Then a little bit more, this is a nice long stretch. Three, two, and one. Okay, slowly come on up. Okay, we're gonna balance it out, of course. Right hand on the head, and then bring it on over. Lock that booty. Tighten the belly, and bring the head over. Just really slow. Remember, we're warming up, so just take it easy. Keep the chin up. Okay, now, once you have that set, and you're using your arm strength, okay? Now you have it over here. Bring that left arm, just like this, glue your fingers together so it's a really straight boom, okay? Down and back. That way you get a really nice long stretch from right to left. Okay, maybe see if your head can go a little bit further over. Center in your body here. Keep that body centered, belly tight. Breathe through your nose, slowly and gently. Bring it over a little bit more for three, two, and one. Okay, come on up. Good job, you guys. All right, now, so interlock your fingers just like this, okay? And then bring it back behind it. So we're doing some really important neck stretches and then um, opening up the back area and the shoulders, okay? So your, your, it's like this. At the base of your head, not up here, down here. Interlock your fingers, okay? So now you're gonna bring your elbows forward, okay? Suck your belly in, and then you're gonna bring your chin down, lock your legs, lock your booty, and bring your chin down to your chest. Pull down. Keep your back straight. You don't wanna go down like this. You're not pulling your whole body. You're just pulling, just gently pulling forward your, um, your chin to your chest. Keep your elbows in, arms next to your head. Breathing through your nose. Concentrate, meditate, stay in the moment. Pull down a little bit more. A very important stretch here. Three, two, and one. Slowly come on up. Now bring your elbows out. Ah, okay. Open up your chest, open up that heart chakra. Open up everything. Bring your elbows back. Keep those fingers interlocked behind you at the bottom, base of your head there, at the base of your skull, right? At your, at your occipital ridge there, okay? That little hole is in the back there. We press in there and that dentation. Okay, that's where you want your hands to be. Okay, bring your elbows back. Open up your chest. Bring your elbows back like butterfly wings. Suck in your belly. Keep your booty tight, legs locked. And then bring your elbows back. Try to get your shoulder blades to touch in the back. This is a really nice stretch, opening up everything here. Back muscles, pectoralis muscles, shoulders, chin up. For three, two, and one. Okay, now, center yourself, and now you're gonna twist over to the left. Twist over to your left, keep your chin up. Bring those elbows back. Twist a little bit deeper. Breathe through your nose, and now slowly rotate over to the other side, keeping it nice and gentle. Okay, keep that belly tight, chin up, elbows back, and twist. Look over to your right. Bring those elbows up, chin up. And then slowly rotate. Okay, now we're gonna drop our head back. Drop your head back, look up to the sky. Bring your elbows back, open up your chest. Open up that heart. Open up your heart to the sky. Bring your elbows back. Bring your shoulder blades touching each other in the back. Keep that booty tight, legs locked the whole time. For three, two, and one, slowly come forward. Okay, this is such an important one. We're gonna do it one more time, this, this one particular one. So bring your elbows forward, chin up, okay, first, okay? Get your chest up, belly tight, and now you're gonna bring your head down. Bring your head down only, keep your back straight, chin to the chest. Go a little bit deeper than you did before. See if you can go a little bit deeper. 
chin of the chest and pull down a little bit. Just gently see where it goes today for you. Take your time. And guys, if you're, you know, um, if you're not able to stand, this is, you can do all this sitting down, so grab a chair if you're not able to stand up, okay? For whatever reason. These are all things you can also do at your desk or sitting at your, you know, on your sofa. Okay, come on up. Bring your elbows back one more time. Chest up. Be proud of yourself for doing this. Be strong, be confident. Bring your elbows back, chest up, chin up. Lock that booty, lock your legs and suck your belly in. Elbows back. Try to touch your shoulder blades in the back behind you. You can feel them touching each other. For three, two, and one. Okay, bring your arms back behind you now. Okay, so you're interlocking your fingers. Okay, just like this. Now, if you're more flexible, push your palms together. If you can't, if you can just go like this, just keep it like this. If you can grab your fingers, great. If you can interlock your fingers and press your palms together, together even better, okay? Because that, what that does is, see how I, when I press my palms together, it locks my whole system, my whole body here. Okay, so suck your belly in, okay? Bring your legs out just a little bit. So maybe you're like just on the rim of your mat or your towel there, okay? About a, a, a good foot and a half, maybe uh, even two feet apart, okay? And then I'm slowly gonna come forward. Slowly come forward, keep your legs locked. Lock your legs, now drop your head. Drop your head like a rag doll. Okay, bowling ball, bowling ball. And bring your arms up over your head. So remember, you're warming up, guys, so just take it easy. Don't, don't push it too hard if you're, only go where your body wants you to go, okay? You don't want any injuries. So you wanna lock your legs, drop your head, and bring your arms forward. Push your palms against each other. I think this feels so good. I love this one. Bring your arms forward, wherever that is. Palms pressed together, if you can. Drop your head like a bowling ball. Let your neck, let your neck stretch out. So from the side, you want your, you know, drop your head, lock your legs. Just see where it takes you. Breathe through your nose for three, two, and one. Okay, slowly bend your knees. Bend your knees. Unlock your hands and come forward. Bring your hands forward. Okay, so now your knees are bent. Your back is straight, so it's like this. It's like this. Suck in that belly, chest up. Arms straight out, okay? Arms and shoulder. Your arm is at in alignment with your shoulders, okay? Nice and straight. Glue your fingers together and your knees are right together, they're going forward, they're right above your ankles here. Okay, back straight, and then sit down, hold it here. Or sit, pretend like you're sitting in a chair. Okay, don't go forward, try to keep your body back. So you feel a little arch in your back here. Keep your arms locked. Inhale, breathe, chin up, chest up. Shoulders away from your ears, bring those shoulders down from your ears, they're not up like this, it's like this. That opens up your back. That straightens out your vertebrae spine, okay? That straightens out your back so you have better posture. Reach forward. We're working out our quads here, warming up our legs a little bit, getting the arms warmed up, chest up. Bring your upper body back. Sit down a little deeper for three, two, and one. Good, come on up, stretch it out a little bit. Okay, now, your feet are apart. Inhale, breathe, bend your knees and reach up to the sky, just nice and slow. Inhale, breathe through the nose, and now exhale out the mouth. Inhale, breathe, inhale, breathe, lift up, lift up, lift up. Exhale out the mouth. Take it slow, guys, follow me, follow me. Let's have that flow together. Inhale, breathe through the nose, stretch. Exhale, out the mouth. Two, two more. Inhale. Exhale. Let it all go on the exhale. Inhale. Let all that stress go. Let leave your mind. Exhale. Okay, this time as you inhale up, 
reach up and stay right here. You're in a, the Empire State Building. Reach up, drop your head back. Chin is up to the sky, your arms are straight up. Fingers touching the clouds or the sunshine, wherever you're at in the world. Maybe the moon. Touch the, touch the sky. Drop your head back. Suck your belly in, lock your legs. Hold it here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, nice job, you guys. Okay, bring your arms down, nice and slow. Okay, bring your right leg forward. Okay, so bring your right leg forward. We're gonna go to the floor in, in just a little bit. We're gonna do some stand up here for first, okay? So do that, just follow along here. Bring your right leg forward and bend that right knee. So from the side, it looks like this. Bend that right knee, lock, lock this back leg, lock it. Okay, so you're, keep your body nice and straight. Chest up, chin up. Press in to that right knee, but keep your back straight, keep your belly tight. Keep your shoulders away from your ears and get that back leg locked. Back leg, bring that back foot in at a 45 degree angle, okay? So, so you can see it, so it's like this. It's in a 45 degree angle. Bend it forward, leg is locked, and back straight. So push forward, okay? Now inhale, breathe, reach up to the sky. Keep that right knee bent. Hold it here. Keep that knee right over your ankle and reach up for three, two, one. Okay, drop back a little bit. Drop back a little bit. Get a little bit of a back bend here. Opening up the lower back. Keep your right knee bent. Back leg straight for three, two, one. Okay, come on forward. Very good. Good job, you guys. Okay, now let's do the other side. Okay? So now you're going to bring your left foot forward. Bend that left knee. Lock, back, lock the back leg. Back foot at a 45 degree angle. So it's a little bit out, a little bit. Okay? And you're going to bend that front knee. Bring, bring it forward a little bit. Okay, drop your hips. Okay, so now you're... Your knee is right above your ankle, ideally, and your back leg is locked. Okay, inhale, breathe, push forward, push forward, push forward. Keep your shoulders away from your ears, okay? And inhale, breathe, and push forward a little bit. Open up that whole inner thigh, the groin area. Try to keep your hips forward. I have a tendency, my hips tend to come this way, so this is something I'm always working on. Yoga practice is a lifelong, you know, working on it forever. It's always the love of it and the challenge of it as well. If you're just joining us, welcome. This is live and recorded. So if you need to leave or whatever, go to work or go to bed, come back to this at any time. We have 16 classes. This is our 16th class, and it's every Tuesday and Thursday, 7 a.m. Phuket, Thailand time. So you can always watch it recorded wherever you are in the world. Okay, inhale, breathe. Now lift your, lift your arms up. Inhale, breathe. And exhale. Inhale, breathe, lift up. Keep that front knee bent, back leg straight. Okay, now lift up, lift up, drop your head back. Okay, now go back a little bit. Do a little back bend here. Keep that front knee bent, back leg straight, suck your belly in, drop your head back, and bend back a little bit, like you're doing a little bit of a back bend. So you should feel this nice stretch in your lower back. Keep that balance, breathe through your nose for three, two, and one. Good, step on forward. Woo! Okay, good stuff. All right, we're gonna start heading our way down to the floor, okay? So now we're gonna bring, I'm gonna bring that camera just a little bit down here. Okay, so what I wanna do, have you do next, is kind of like a ragdoll. Bend your knees a little bit, okay? Like a ragdoll, just drop down, just kind of like drop. Just like, a doll that lost its batteries. The battery just went dead. Just feel that beautiful stretch. Drop your head like a bowling ball. Keep your belly nice and tight and lock your knees. Okay, push those knees back. So what we're doing is making sure that our knees, our knee joints are getting oiled here like the Tin Man and Wizard of Oz. 
So getting those knee joint slots of love here. Locking the knees, okay? And then dropping the head. And just drop down. Let's see where that takes you. Your feet can be a little bit apart because you want to keep balanced, okay? That's, you don't need to have them together. You want them maybe a little separated. Drop your head down. Now bring your weight forward a little bit. See how I'm tilting? Um, I've got my hands in front of me, so you're not going to fall. So bring your weight forward more on your toes without lifting your heels up. Lock your knees. Push those knees back. Concentrating on consciously pushing your knees back, locking your legs, and roll your weight forward towards your toes. Drop your head. Let your neck stretch out here. And roll your weight forward more. Distribute your weight towards your toes. Okay, for three, two, and one. Okay, now drop your booty back. Watch my butt go back. Wee! Okay, now walk your hands back to your toes a little bit and let your butt drop back a little bit, keeping your legs locked. And now lift your toes up. That'll help drop you back a little bit. Okay? Drop your head, lift your toes up. This should feel so good on your lower back. This is really great for your hamstrings, calf muscles, everything. And those wonderful knees, that they go out on you. One of the first things that goes out on when you get older. So get those knees strong. Head down. Keep those toes up. For three, two, and one. Okay, feet flat. Bend your knees and come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Make your way down. Hello there. All right, here we go. Now we're like looking like a frog here. So you're going to open up your... Move my mat a little bit. So open up your knees a little bit. Okay? Just like this. So just do what you can do, guys. If your knees are not good, so just maybe just start like this. Just do this, okay? But if you can, try to come up off the mat and bring your elbows in, okay? Even if you have to sit like this, that's fine. You just do it like this, that's fine. No problem. But for right now, try to come up off the mat, get your booty off the mat, open up your knees, and then get your elbows right at your knees. Your elbows are really strong. So you want to make sure your elbows are being used here as a benefit, a tool here. So you're pressing, push your hands together, make sure your, your chest is up, your chin is up. Be proud of yourself here. And now you're going to press your knees outward, keeping those palms together. Press. Open up your knees. Press your palms against each other and push out your knees with your elbows. You don't realize how strong those elbows are. Like in Muay Thai and, you know, CrossFit stuff, I mean, those elbows come in handy, baby. That knocks somebody out. Okay. Push. Push, push, push. Try to keep your chin up. Three, two, and one. Okay, now drop your booty down, drop your butt down, and bring your legs forward. Okay? So I'm going to bring the camera forward a little bit. It's really humid here today. Okay. So, oh, take a sip of water when you need to. In between your postures, good time to take a sip of water if you need one. Okay. So now your legs are straight in front of you. Bring your toes towards your face. Toes towards your face, okay? Okay, your legs are locked. Try to get your legs locked. Now, those of you guys, lots of you have knee injuries, that's okay. Put a pillow underneath your knee, okay? To help you out. Maybe your lower back is giving you a problem. Sometimes this will help by putting a, a bolster or a pillow or, you know, maybe wrap up, roll up a towel or something, okay? But if you're, if you're okay with getting your legs straight, toes point them towards your face. Okay, now, backs nice and straight. Suck your belly in. Inhale, breathe, and reach up out of your waist. Reach up. Look up. When you look up, that helps you lift up out of your waist. So look up. Drop your head back behind your shoulders. Keep those toes flexed towards your face and try to straighten your legs out so your knees are locked. Belly tight, breathing through your nose. Reach up for three, two, one. Okay, forward fold. Come forward. Look at me in front. Keep your chin way up. Keep your chin up. Keep your chin up. Okay, now, let's say you're not super flexible. That's okay. Bend your knees. Okay? But the goal is to grab your toes. All five fingers around each foot. Okay? So keep the toes flexed and you just, just do this. 
If you're right here, that's fine. If you can go out further, great. If you, go, if you practice yoga regularly or you're more flexible, then lock those legs and then grab those toes and come on down. Chin up. No matter where, where you're at, what level you're at, chin is up. So you're stretching out your spine here. It feels so good. Stretching out your spine. Chin forward. Come up out of your hips here. Chest out. Come forward. So you should feel this in your lower back, definitely your hamstrings, your underneath your knees here, back of your knees, your calf muscles. Now if you're super flexible, lift your heels up. Legs are locked. Chin up. Hold it here. Just feel that stretch. Breathe into it. Breathing is the most important thing. Conscious breathing through your nose. Hold it here. Feel that stretch. Hold on to those feet. Like your, your hands are glued to them. I love it. I love seeing friends doing this, family joining me. It makes me really happy. I'm so happy you're joining me. I have friends in other countries or watch, watch the classes now. It's so cool. All right. Chin up for three, two, one. Okay, now, now wherever you are, let's say you're right here. Let's say you're right here. That's okay. Bring your chin to your chest. Hold on to those toes, chin to the chest, and get your forehead to the knee. So, forehead to the knee, like this. Okay, now if you're, you can get your legs out straighter, hold on to those toes, those are your, your glue to your toes, chin to the chest, forehead to the knee. Okay, if you're more practice regularly, forehead to the knee. Toes towards your face, hold on to those toes. Okay, this is a long hold, you guys. Breathe into it. Do what you can do, and just keep working on getting a little bit deeper, maybe a little bit farther over the time that we're doing the stretch. Maybe see if you can go a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper. Chin to the chest. Forehead is on your knees. Use your forehead to push your knees down. The power of your forehead, just like your elbows, are really good. Um, tools for you to push down your knees. Hold here for three, two, and one. Good. Slowly come up. Get your hands to the side of your legs. Shin to your chest. Head up. Head up last. Nice and slow. Nice and slow, like a kitty cat crawling back. A kitty cat. Okay. Now you're up. Nice and slow. Let's do it. Arms up, arms up, arms up. Reach up, reach up. Stretch your back out here after that. Stretch it out. Look up to the sky. Touch the sky. Head back. Keep your toes flexed this whole time. For three, two, and one. Bring your arms down. Good, guys. Awesome. Okay, now, I'd like you to bring your feet together. Okay, feet together. Grab onto those feet again, okay? This time you wanna grab from the outside like this. Okay, knees out. Okay, get your back straight. Chin up, chest up. Get your back nice and straight. Okay, so now your knees are out. And just try to consciously press your knees down. So imagine your knees coming down, opening up your inner thighs, your, um, your uh, groin area, back area is opening up. Nice and slow, press those knees down. Hold on to your feet. You're glued to your feet. Your hands are glued to your feet. For three, two, one. Okay, let go of your feet. Now, use your forearms. Bring them to the inside, right near your knees here, and push down. Keep your back straight. Chin up. Belly tight. Breathe through your nose. Press down. You should feel your back strengthening here, too. Use your arm and your back strength. Push down, feet together for three, two, and one. All right, good stuff, you guys. All right, we're going to go back into one more stretch, second set. Arms, uh, legs are nice and straight. Bring your toes towards your face, belly tight, chest out. Bring your arms up. Reach up, drop your head back. Look up. Okay, this time we're going to be able to go a little bit deeper because we're warmed up now. So reach up out of your waist. Inhale, breathe, and come forward. Forward fold. 
Forward fold, chin up, chin up, chin up. Toes towards your face. Come on forward. Okay, so you're right here. Let's say you're right here. You're not, maybe you're just doing this for the first time. Just right here is great. Okay, good job. Okay, now keep your chin up and roll forward. Now see if you can't walk out a little bit more. A little bit more. Hold on to those toes. Don't let go of those toes. Walk out. Walk out. Okay. Until you eventually you'll have it like this. So your chest is forward, chin is up. And now eventually, if you practice long enough, you'll get your elbows down to the mat, to the outside of your calf muscles, and your chin's up, and you're holding on to those toes, baby. Hold on. Hold on tight. Okay, good. Keep your chest up. Chin up really high. For three, two, and one. Okay, now, chin to the chest. Chin to the chest. Forehead to the knee. Hold on to your feet. Chin to the chest. If you're up here, chin to the chest. Breathe through this, you guys. We're a lot more warmed up now, so see if you can go a little bit further. Challenge yourself just a little bit. Just go a little bit deeper than maybe you did the last class or the last set. For three, two, and one. Okay, slowly come on up. Chin to your chest. Your head up is last. Bring your head up last. Walk back like a kitty cat. Walk back, walk back, walk back. Okay, then bring your head up. Yeah, good job, you guys. Nice. Okay, now we're going to stretch it out. It'll feel really good. Get on your back. Lay on your back. Arms by your side. Okay, this is Savasana. Savasana, just lay here. Just lay here. Arms by your side, palms up, and breathe through your nose. Keep your eyes open. This is an open-eyed meditation. It's a very important posture. It's as important as any of the other ones. It seems simple, but staying still is, this is probably the hardest pose for me. Okay? As you can see, I'm wiping myself as I'm talking to you. So just stay, lay there. Breathe through your nose, keep your eyes open, and let your heart, your mind stay in the moment. Don't wander. Stay right here, stay focused, and let your back stretch out. Let everything reset. Okay, for three, two, and one. Okay, now bend your left knee, keep your right leg straight, and, and flex your right foot. Okay, now bring that left knee over your right leg. Drop it on down. Use the help of your right hand to bring your, right, your left knee over. Okay, now once you drop it down, so it's like this. Now you're going to bring, bring up your left arm way up and bring it over. Really stretch it out. Now look over to your, to your left. So this is called a spine twist. You're twisting in two different directions. Oh man, this feels good. So keep that, um, that knee bent, keep your left knee bent, keep it on the ground by using your right hand to help you. Push it down, keep it down, and then look over to your left. Look past your, your left fingertips. Try to get your left shoulder to touch the mat. See, I'm really tight today, so I'm, it's hard for me, but work at it, work at it. Really stretch that arm out. Three, two, and one. Nice and slow. Very gentle here. Okay, now you're going to straighten out your left leg, bend your right knee, and bring it on over. Bring it on over. Drop it down. Drop it down. Let it, your left hand help you. Bring it down. Okay, now once you have it down, you're going to bring it up your uh, right arm and then bring it all the way out. Look to the right. Look all the way to the right. So it's a spine twist. You're twisting in two different directions. Keep that knee, the bent knee down on the ground. 
Let your left hand help it. Stay down. Stay down there, buddy. Okay. Good. And now you're looking out to the right. Good. For three. Look way out. Stretch that arm a little bit further. Two and one. Okay, slowly, very slowly. Come on back now. Okay, good. Now you're on the mat, and now you're going to bring your heels up to your booty. Bring your heels up to your booty. Your, bring your feet together. Okay, bring your feet together. Press your feet together. Bring your heels up to your butt as much as possible, and bring your knees out. You're flat on your back. Shoulders are both on the mat. And now bring your arms back behind you and stretch, stretch back. This feels really good. Bring your chin to your chest. Chin to your chest. Keep your head on the mat and your arms are back behind you, straight behind you. Stretch it all out. Press your feet together. Keep pressing your feet together and let your knees fall out naturally. Arms are behind you. Imagine me pulling you behind you so you're stretching your spine out. For three, two, and one. Okay, now bring your hands to the inside of your thighs or your knees, wherever your arm length is. Okay, and now you're going to press down. Keep those feet pressing. Keep your heels up next to your butt. Try to keep them as best as you can right next to your booty. Okay, and now press down with your arm strength. Open up your legs, and now you're really getting your groin and your thigh, inner thigh. It's like this, it looks like this from the side. Imagine your knees touching the mat. So push down. So good for your hips, your lower back, everything, inner, inner thighs. This helps a lot of athletes with groin injuries. Press down. For three, chin to your chest, head on the mat. Press down for three, two, and one. Great job, you guys. Woohoo! Okay, you deserve a love hug. Bring your knees up to your chest. Knees up to your chest. So reach up. Now, if you can just grab your knees, great. That's fine. Okay, if you can try to grab your forearms, better. If you can try to reach up, grab your opposite elbows, hold on tight, and then bring your head back to the mat. Okay? Then squeeze, 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 squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze your knees into your chest. Keep the head on the mat. Don't lift your head off the mat. Chin to your chest. When you bring your chin to your chest, there's a whole reason for this. All these little nuggets of, you know, little helps, little hints here. Bring the chin to the chest. That helps elongate your neck here. Your C1 through C7 is getting stretched out here. And then um, you're now also getting your neck a little love here. So chin to the chest and squeeze. For three, relax your feet, just relax them. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Okay, straighten your legs straight up. Point your toes, point your toes. Lock your knees. So your back is flat on the mat, and now we're gonna, now we're gonna reach up, reach up. Keep your chin up. So your chin is up like this, it's up like this. So you look up, look straight up. Touch your, try to touch those toes. Point your toes, lock your knees, suck your belly in. Hold it here. Okay, we're gonna flip inside here. Lift up. Keep those knees locked. Hold it here, suck in your abs here. Breathe through your nose. We've got 10 seconds, guys. Don't, don't let go. Don't, keep going, keep going. 10, 9, 8, reach up further. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, drop down. Good job, you guys. Okay, give yourself a love hug again. Bring your knees in. Okay, if you can reach up and try to grab your elbows or your forearms, that's even better because you get a tighter squeeze. But whatever you can do, maybe you can just bring your knees up to your chest. That's great. Do whatever you can do. Yoga for all, baby. It's yoga for all. So this is for great for kids, great for uh, seniors, elderly. 
great for anybody. If you practice yoga regularly, good for you, doing some extra stretching here. Maybe you're going to go to a class after this. It can't hurt, right? This is great for the body. Okay, bring both knees down, all the way down to your left. So, actually, I'm going to turn around here. So bring your knees down to your left. And now both your knees are down, touching each other on the ground, okay? Now you're going to bring your uh, right arm straight up and look over. So this is kind of like the, the, the other one we did. This is a spine twist. So you're twisting your spine in two different directions. You, so you see my shoulders, trying to, I'm trying to touch my shoulder on the mat. That's the goal. And you're looking past your right fingertips. Well, you bring your knees up to your chest as much as possible. Curl up like a baby. Bring your knees way up. So you're really getting that nice stretch in your back all the way down to your coccyx here. All the way down there. So you're really stretching out here. Push those knees down. Make sure those knees are touching each other. Let your left hand help you keep them down there. Down, boy, down. Okay, good. Keep looking over the other direction for three, two, one. Okay, good stuff. Roll it on over, other side. Okay, so now we're gonna drop down both knees to the right side. Curl up like a baby, curl up and drop them down. And now you're gonna bring up that arm up, way up. So bring it up and out and drop it down. Look to your left. Knees to the right, touching each other on the floor. Try to get your left shoulder, try to get your left shoulder down. So you're looking way over there, way past your left fingers. Get those knees to stay down. For three, two, and one. Okay, good. Roll on back. Let's straighten it out. Come back to Savasana. Dead body pose. Dead bodies don't move. Or do they? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? I guess we'll all find out, right? Okay. Arms by your side, palms up. Relax. Take a sip of water if you need one. Good time to do it. Breathe in and out of your nose. Eyes opened for three, two, and one. Okay, now we're gonna bring our arms back behind us. Arms back behind us. We're gonna do a sit up, okay? So flex your feet, flex your feet, shin to your chest, suck your belly in, get ready, Th cross your thumbs, arms and ears together. We're gonna sit up, okay? One, two, three, sit up. Okay, and we go when we come forward, I'm gonna, have you exhale a couple of exhales like a choo choo train like a shoo, shoo. okay the reason why we want to do that is that gives you some energy for the rest of the class we're nearing the end of the class but we still have some poses exercises to do okay so let's do that again let's try it again so you flex your feet bring your arms back behind you thumbs crossed arms and ears together cross your thumbs okay i gotta pull on my way here so i'm gonna work with that okay shin to your chest set your belly in flex your feet Get ready, and when you come up, you're gonna exhale twice. Get ready, and help me. One, two, three, come up. Good job, all right. So we're, now we're, we're ready to go. Okay, now we're gonna work our way up. Come on up, come on forward. So now you're back in a frog position. Okay, so you feel like you're uh, ribbit, ribbiting here. Okay, now you're gonna come on up, nice and slow, Push your, let your hands help you. Roll up, drop your head, drop your head. And then roll up with your head up coming up last. Nice and slow. Okay, so I'm going to move the, the... So we're back up to standing here for the ending of class. We're doing quite a bit of standing on this class. A lot of times I do, you know, sitting, but I like to change it up. 
Every class is different, so you're always going to have something a little different, a little surprise, try something different, something new, work different body parts out, okay? So now, we're going to bring our, um, I'm going to get rid of the mat actually, okay? So just make sure you have some space here, bring your knees out, okay, this is going to be good for your legs, okay? Good for your thighs and your booty, get that butt nice and tight, bounce a quarter off that thing. Okay, bring your knees out, okay, get your feet out, so your, your, toe, your feet are out like this, okay? Now bring your arms up, arms are nice and high, with elbows with your shoulders, get ready, chin up, chest up, bring your elbows back, chest out, ready? Drop down, drop down, okay, drop down. Get that booty down. Get that booty down nice and low. Hold it here. You're gonna stay with me now. You're not gonna fall out here. You stay with me. Stay with me now. Bring your, don't let yourself come forward. Make sure your arms are back. That's why we have our arms up, and that's why I have your elbows back. So it'll help you keep nice and straight. Okay, drop down a little bit more. Hold it there for 10 more seconds. Hold it here. Keep your elbows up nice and high. Not here, they're here. Look at my body now. Walk, look at, boom, boom. Strong. Elbows back, get those shoulder blades together. Drop down more for five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Okay, good job, you guys. Better shake it out a little bit. We're gonna do two more of those, okay? A sip of water if you need it. Okay. Okay, get ready to go. Okay, second set, you guys, let's do it. Focus. Stay in the moment, okay? This is all good for you. All love for your body. All love for yourself. Okay, knees out, feet out. Get ready, okay? Arms up. Here we go, and drop. Arms up nice and high. Elbows back, chest up. Get the girls out there. Chin up. Bring your shoulder blades together. Let's do it. Let's do it together. Drop down a little bit more. Okay, consciously press your knees back. Don't let your knees come in. You want them back, as far back as you can. Bring your elbows back. Elbows up nice and high. Drop down more. 10 more seconds. Eight. Hold on there, guys. Don't drop out. Stay with me. Stay with me. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Good job. Okay. Shake it out. Shake it out. We've got one more. Okay? All right. Let's do this. Okay, one more set. This is all matters. Get that. Butt tight. Okay, let's do it. Feet up. Here we go. Arms up. Elbows to, to your shoulders. Nice and high. Suck your belly in. Chest up. Chin up. Drop. Let's go. Press your knees back. Press your knees back. Bring your chest up. Chin up. Inhale, breathe. Breathe through your nose, you guys. Breathe through the nose. Not the mouth. Breathe through your nose. That'll help keep your heart rate calmer and keep your mind in the moment here. Nice and slow. Bring those knees out. For five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Burn, baby, burn. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, now we're gonna do a little stretch for our quads because we did some leg stretching. So find um, like a wall or, you know, or a mannequin, one of my mannequins here. Uh, yeah, that's a long story, but I found those, but anyway, um, stretch your, your um, quad up. Try to grab a chair, maybe grab a chair or a wall, and just take that, grab that ankle from the outside. Keep your belly nice and tight, chest up, chin up. Yeah, these, these mannequins were actually on the side of the road, so my, a couple of my friends and I grabbed them just to be goofy. I thought those would look good for back, for uh, props for my little yoga class. What the heck? Why not? Life is too short not to have fun. Okay, bring that your heel to your butt. Stretch out that quad here. For three, two, one. Okay, now really pull it back a little bit more. Now try to grab that, get a good grip on that, on the ankle here. And bring it back a little bit. So. You're, from that, this direction, lock the standing leg, and then really, when you're the, the bent knee, bring that heel way back. Bring it back a little bit more. So really stretching out this quadricep muscles in the front here. Keep that chest up, chin up. Scan.
standing leg is locked. Make sure that standing leg has a locked knee. Okay, bring this leg back for three, two, one. Good job, you guys. Okay, now switch sides. Okay, so standing leg locked, whatever one you're on. Okay, lock that knee. Get the other leg some love here. And bring in, grab a, get a good grip. All five fingers, thumbs included. And really pull your heel into your butt. Get your heel to touch your butt. Suck your belly in. Chest up. Chin up. None of this slouching going on. No. Lock this standing leg and pull this heel to your butt. Okay, now bring it back a little bit. Pull that deep stretch. Pull it back a little bit more. A little bit more. Heel to the butt. Standing leg locked. Chest up, chin up. For three, two, and one. Good. Woo, nice guys. All right. Let's take a little reset. Inhale, breathe. Bring your feet out. Let's take a little breath here. Let's catch your breath. Inhale, breathe. Lift up. You're doing great. We're almost done, guys. Exhale, bend the knees on the way down slowly, very slow. Inhale, breathe through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. This is where I say exhale out the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Now exhale out the mouth. Inhale through the nose, slow, very slow. Exhale out the mouth. Last time, inhale, breathe. And now bring your arms out, legs out. So come out about three feet. Come out about three feet, okay? Lock your legs and just do a final stretching. Arms straight and come on down. Lock your knees nice and slow. Look forward, look at me. Look forward, look forward, chin up. Come on down, arms nice and straight. Come on down, come on down until your hands get to the mat. Drop your head, drop your head. Now, you guys can use a bolster or a pillow, whatever. Grab a pillow, you know, or a bolster or a rolled up towel. If that helps you, a lot of people like to do that, okay? That's great, no problem. You can do that. Or if you don't want that and you want to go deeper, drop your head and just relax. Just relax as best you can. Feel that beautiful stretch, a nice deep stretch. Lower back in stretch, hamstrings, calf muscles, knees, everything. Drop your head, relax. Bring your weight forward towards your toes. Bring those legs out a little bit more if you want, okay? Get a nice wide stance, good three feet or more. Bring your toes in a little bit. Okay, that'll help also keep your legs nice and uh, locked and straight. Drop your head down. Breathe through your nose. Have your hands in front of you, okay? If you want to go deeper, you know yogis, you guys that do it all the time, you can go down deeper if you want. Drop your head down to your forehead, whatever. I'm showing you very basics, but if you want to go further into the pose, you know what to do if you practice yoga regularly. Okay? Come on down. For those of you not as advanced, just do this. Just hang out. For three, two, and one. Good. Drop that head. Drop that head like a bowling ball. Imagine your head is going to touch the mat. Just relax. Legs are locked. Roll your weight forward on your toes a little bit more. Roll your weight forward. Let your hands help you. Roll forward. Keeping your heels on the mat for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly. Slowly, slowly. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Okay? And come on out. Nice and slow. Roll up, roll up, roll up. Nice and slow. Head up last so you don't get a big head rush. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Ah. All right, here we are. Good stuff. We're at the end of class here. So let's do a final breathing, okay? We're going to do a final breathing hands to your heart, okay? And namaskar, so just like this, hands to your heart. Okay. All right, so let's do a nice breathing. Inhale, breathe through your nose. Come on up. Keep your hands together in prayer. And then exhale, out the mouth, coming down. Slow it down. Bring your feet together, okay? Inhale, breathe through the nose.
Calm your heart rate, calm your mind. Beautiful class today, you guys. You did awesome. Exhale out the mouth. Inhale, breathe. Keep the mind calm. Exhale. Inhale. All the way up. Reach up. Lock your elbows. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. All right, let's roll those shoulders around. You did so good today. Make sure you drink lots of water today so you rehydrate yourself, put that minerals back in your body, maybe some electrolytes were lost from the sweat. So roll those shoulders forward now. All right, let's roll the head nice and slow. Right to left, left to right. Very gently. Chin to the chest. All right, come to center. Let's do a couple of final breathing. Inhale, breathe, lift up. Reach up, touch the sky. Hello, good morning, good night, whatever that is for you. Keep it really chill, really chill. Nice, slow, inhale, breathe. Stretch everything out here. Exhale. Bend the knees, bend those knees. Get down low. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Reach up and exhale. Come into Namaskar. Okay, this is a final uh, gratitude prayer I'd like to give to everyone. So you can either stand up or um, you can come down and sit down, whatever that is for you. And I want to put your hand, have your hands come to your heart. And I'd like this to be a gratitude at the end of class, every class. And let's think of whatever we're grateful for. I'm grateful to be a teacher and to be teaching with you today and have this wonderful shared energy wherever you are in the world. It's really a joy to me. And so feel whatever gratitude comes to your mind, keep it simple, one thing. It could be your kids, maybe your loved one, uh, the sunshine, whatever that is, okay? Put that gratitude in your heart, in your mind, and let's share that gratitude, okay? Lift your hands up. Bring your hands in prayer all the way up to the sky and look up and reach up and let's share that gratitude with everyone. Open out your arms wide like the sunshine. And now bring your hands back to your heart. This is the most important. This is called first love yourself. Fly. First love yourself more than anything. You matter. You matter to this world. And make sure you remember that. Feel that in your heart, okay? Inhale, breathe. Let's share that love with each other around the world. Inhale, breathe. Lift up, lift up, lift up all that love. And let's give it away and help other others, okay? Arms wide. And I thank you very much. Namaste. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful night. And uh, join me every Tuesday and Thursday, Thailand time, 7 a.m., wherever. Check your zone out, your time zone out in your, in your country. And also, um, welcome to my classes. It's been great having you here. Uh, it's live and recorded. This is class 16, so you can find it on good.vibesthailand. Have a good day or night. Bye-bye.